Okay, I now have Wi-Fi inside my RV, full Wi-Fi. I am so thrilled. Um, this is a directional grid parabolic antenna that I bought the other day, assembled and um, mounted it. It's starting to rain. On my cargo carrier. The cable had to be taped down for security. It's not weatherproof. The connection set is. And then I strapped it to the bar, ran it across the back of my RV. It's the thinner wire. And for now, I ran it through my window. So, and this is the cable. It's a low loss reverse SMA to end type cable, eight meters, which means it's 26.2 feet. Everything's coming in meters and stuff lately. Okay, let's go inside since it's starting to rain and I'll show you how I set it. Okay, um, okay, back to the antenna. I also ordered a um, lightning arrester, which should come in a few days because it's not grounded and it should be grounded. Especially since we're having thunderstorms, it's kind of, eh, I probably shouldn't be using this yet, but anyhow. So, okay, we're inside the RV now. I have chosen to put this system on top of this cabinet by my TV and it's pretty much out of the way up here okay so here is a 12 dBi Wi-Fi antenna that works on a 2.4 gigahertz system um, I was kind of confused at first why I had to have an antenna inside when I had to have an antenna outside and they told me that I had to have one inside to use as a bridge antenna to draw the signal in. Still didn't make sense to me until I set it up and then I was like, oh, okay, now I get it. So anyhow, here is that antenna. And I've chosen to mount it to where it just lays down. And then it is plugged into this um, Wi-Fi extender router type thing. Okay, let me show you that box. So this is a high power Wi-Fi range extender and it will extend up to 10,000 square feet, which is overkill for my little RV because it's only 145 square feet, but that's okay. I don't care. As long as it works, I'm happy. And uh, this specific extender has two antennas on it. And that's why you need to get one with two antennas if you're going to go with this type of system. So, put that box down. I don't know what I did with the antenna. Oh, hold on. So these, this is one of the antennas. And the other one I already put away somewhere. So what I did was unbox this, attached it to this plate, and this is a um, magnetic plate, so be very careful what you put it by. You don't want to put it by any DVDs or CDs or anything like that. So this is far away from anything like that. Okay, and um, plugged it into the back. Took one of the antennas out of this extender, plugged it in the back. Took um, the outdoor antenna wait, cable, ran it inside and plugged it into the other antenna end. 
and then um, I had to use the Ethernet cord. Let's see if that picks them up. It's kind of dark in here. But anyhow, I had to use the Ethernet cord to use in one of these slots to uh, set up the computer, which was easy enough. Used this little setup guide, which I'm digging out over here, dropping everything. So it comes with a setup guide. Simple, easy, easy to use. And you don't have to get online. You connect this with the Ethernet cord and you uh, open up Chrome. It only works on Chrome and Internet Explorer. So you open up Chrome, put in that URL, and it will connect with the extender and uh, then you can key everything into your computer and you can also make, you know, you go to your computer when you get that site and you just follow all the instructions and connect to your strongest signal. This actually gave me an 84% signal Whereas before, I was lucky to even get on. So this is great. This is really helping. But anyhow, I uh, yeah connected it to the RV's Wi-Fi system, which isn't the best. It's an old, antiquated system, but it's better than nothing. And um, so I just did that, ran it through the computer, and I also did my phone. So turn on my phone. And there's my Wi-Fi. Isn't that cool? Full Wi-Fi. So now I can get online and watch YouTube in bed at night. I like to when I go to bed at night I like to watch a few YouTube videos before I fall asleep. So all RV videos mostly. So this is my setup. It's a uh, again a 12 dBi Wi-Fi. Come on, focus. 12 dBi Wi-Fi antenna and ooh, and the high power Wi-Fi range extender with two, make sure you got two antennas, removable antennas, so that you can connect these devices. It stays up here, it's out of the way, works well, I'm thrilled. Not the fastest internet because the park, like I said, has an older system, but I'm online now. And that is awesome. Catch y'all later. Hope you have a good one. I will see you online more often now. Okay, here are my options at this RV park. Of course, this is my system that I set up. And this is the system I logged on to when I set it up. I um, don't pick up a lot of um, range with the antenna like I thought I would but that might be because it's not high enough but really and we have a lot of trees a lot of trees a lot of tall fifth wheels a lot of obstructions in my way to even reach the little mile over to McDonald's which is fine no biggie but um, yeah that's what I get that one is somebody's private that one, somebody's private, that's private, that's private, that's private, that's open, that's open, and of course, that's mine. And there I am, I'm connected. Awesome. Let's check Google. Loading, loading. 
a little bit of a slow internet here. There we go. There we are. So, just wanted to show you that little bit before I finish this video. See you online. Bye. So I thought I would uh, let you know what this system cost me. And I bought this at Fry's Electronic. So the um, repeater was $74.97. The uh, wireless antenna was $35.07. The Ethernet cable was $1.59. I have Ethernet cables, but they're in storage and I wasn't gonna drive the whole way across town. For one um, and the cord the cable this cable that was in this box was $22.99 the total $134.62 tax $11.11 total $145.73 plus the antenna itself the directional um, grid parabolic antenna was about $53. So this system cost about $200. But it's been well worth it. It's great to be online again. Yay! I can get caught up. I have a bunch of old videos to upload still. But I'll upload um, some current ones as well. The old videos are mostly RVs that I toured in September and never quite got them up online because of not being able to get online. So I'm stoked. This is really awesome. Plus, I was able to call Sprint and do away with that $65 air card that didn't work here very well anyhow. So anyhow... I'm editing. Catch y'all later. See you online. Bye.